Now, a couple of days ago, international media outlets were asking questions to the palace. Where is Cave Milton? Where is Cave Milton? From Forbes magazine to the New York Times, they were asking questions. Where is Cave Milton? And because of those questions, and also conspiracy theories being spread online about the whereabouts of Cave Milton, because of that, Kensington Palace issued a statement to a US-based tabloid, page six, owned by Rupert Murdoch, saying this and a quote. Kensington Palace made it clear in January the timelines of the Prince's recovery and with only providing significant updates that guidance stands. And the palace said that Kate is doing well. That is a statement from Kingston Palace issued to page six, a US based tablet owned by Rupert Murdoch. And despite that statement, still people were asking even more where is Kay Wilton? What happened to her? And a few days later, after that statement issued by Crystal Palace was released, now my family is when we are seeing that also TMZ, a US based tabloid, my family, owned by Rupert Murdoch, are the ones who are publishing. A part photo of what appears to be K. Moulton sitting in the passenger seat alongside her mother who's driving the car. What appears to be K. Moulton. My family, it is a grainy photograph of what appears to be K. Moulton. And even people are asking more questions. You know, they're like, K. Moulton has some moles on her face. Where are they? In the photos that have been published, we don't see those moles. The King Moulton have plastic surgery done on her because even her face appears to be swollen. What happened to her? People are asking questions. People are asking even more and more questions. While the UK W Press, on the other hand, are like, wait, we respect Kate's privacy and we are not going to publish those photographs, you know, acquired by paparazzi about Kim Moulton. All of a sudden, like magic, we are seeing royal experts understand the meaning of privacy. Honestly. For example, Chris Ship, my family, said this and they quote, there are pop pictures of Kim Moulton. We, the UK media, are not running them out of respect for her privacy. While Kate recovers from her operation in the time scale that we were given for it, as far as I know, no other UK broadcaster or newspaper has published the photos either, said Chris Ship. All of a sudden, like a miracle, Carnival of so-called experts understand the meaning of privacy. However, when it was Megan, they said, we pay, you pose. We pay, you pose. And that Megan has no right to privacy. Why? Because the taxpayer funds her lifestyle. That's what they said. But my family now Taxpayers aren't funding Megan's lifestyle. They are not. They are not. They are funding Kate's lifestyle. But my family, you don't hear, we pay you pose from the UK tablet press. You don't hear that, my family, anymore. Even someone on X, formerly called Twitter, say this, my family, and they quote. Say this, my family, and they quote. 
Becky Media, what use per photos of Kate out of respect? Even though it appears that clearly Kate's mother arranged these pub shots alongside what appears to be Kay Moulton. Imagine if Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, had that kind of treatment from the Wikimedia. Guess her skin color was a little bit too dark for them to treat Megan like a proper human being. Exactly. 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 All of a sudden, you are seeing, you can always be like, oh, we respect Kate's privacy. We respect her privacy. And right now, we'll give her the time she needs to recover. When have they ever shown Megan that kind of respect? When? Clearly, it's because of Megan's race. That's why they never showed Megan any kind of dignity or respect. No wonder they hounded Megan. No wonder they wrote vile things about her. No wonder they made demands off of Megan because they never saw Megan as a human being because of her race. Because she was, a, she was my family, my racial. That's why they didn't care. You know, and my family, we can see that. We can see that, really. We can see that 100%. And also on Good Morning Britain, my family, they themselves are admitting that they have an arrangement with the palace, with the royal family. And my family, I want you to be able, my family, hear this please. Them admitting that they have an arrangement with the royal family. When Harry said, tells us the palace, the royal family and tablets have some kind of, you know, my family, invisible contract. Harry is called a liar. You know? Because Harry did admit in the Oprah interview, did say in the Oprah interview that the palace and the tablets have some kind of arrangement, have some agreements, have an invisible contract in place. You know? Harry was called a liar, my family. You know? Now look at how Carnival, all so-called experts, are finally admitting that indeed Harry was telling the truth. My family, please, my family, kindly hear this. Please. This paparazzi photograph of the Princess of Wales, which has been published in the United States, not here in the UK, but it does mark the first time that the royal has been seen since undergoing surgery. Kate was photographed being driven by her mother in a car near Windsor Castle yesterday. And um, it's been published by the celebrity news site TMZ. And uh, in Australia as well, um, and by one, at least one newspaper in the States. This is in breach of this, this unwritten agreement, which has been in existence since Diana's time, actually, uh, not to intrude on a royal's private space. They call it the red, the red carpet rule. It's, it's okay when they're officially in public gaze, but not when they're doing their, their thing, their private thing. Of course, Kate hasn't been seen in public since um, Christmas Day in Sandringham, with speculation growing over her well-being after she was admitted to hospital for a planned operation in the middle of January. Well, Nick Dixon is at Windsor Castle for us this morning. My family, you've heard that yourself. You've heard that yourself. You know? That is a red carpet true. Do not take photos of a member of the royal family in a private facility. An agreement the press have with senior members of the royal family. You know? And that's why they say that it's wrong for photos of K to have been taken by Parazi. My family, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. And Harry told us this. Harry told us this. Harry said there was an evil contract. Harry told us the farm had the power to protect Megan, but they chose not to. But they chose not to. And now you can see the power of the palace by how they're protecting Kate Milton's privacy. You can see the power of the palace. You can see the power of the royal family to the point that all tabloids 
aren't posting a photograph of Kay Moulton after Kate was back, then why are the tabloids always posting her photos of Meghan Markle? Why? Even when Meghan was in the UK, they were doing that. Even when Meghan was in the UK, they were doing that. They were posting power photos of Meghan. Even when Meghan was in the UK. You know? Meghan was never protected. Why? Because she, my family, is a man of color. That's why the farm refused to protect Meghan. And that's why UK tablets right now are protecting Kimberly because she is white. And they see her as a human being. That courtesy was never ever shown to Megan. You know? Megan and Harry have spoken about being dehumanized by the UK tablets. More so Megan. Of how she has been dehumanized by the UK tablet press. That they see her as a commodity. Not as a human being. Who she is. Why? Because of Megan's race. That's why the tablets, UK tablets, have never ever seen Megan as a human being because of Megan's race. That's why you see them respecting Kate's privacy and even finally understanding the meaning of privacy. Finally, they understand the meaning of privacy. Finally, finally, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. A miracle has happened. UK tablets finally understand the meaning of privacy. You are not supposed to publish her photos of my family, someone taken in a private facility. However, when they are doing public engagements, you can take as many photos as you want. You know, I remember what happened to her Megan in New York. That has not even been confirmed, my family, by the New York Police Department. Chief of Intelligence, you know, of what happened to Harry and Meghan, of how they were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi in New York City that behaved so recklessly. You know? The police even said that they have evidence to arrest even two individuals. They have enough evidence to arrest them. Already, we finally know that. And that is thanks to Prince Harry's court case against the Home Office. Thank you, Harry, once again. Thank you, Harry, once again. Thank you. And I don't think I even need to remind you that it was Daily Mail and Daily Express, two UK tablets that published photos of Harry and Meghan illegally acquired, acquired when Harry and Meghan were being hounded by Parazi. They published those photos on my family, their online website, and only removed them only when Harry and Meghan issued the statement telling the world of how they were hounded in New York, the Parazi, who clearly were paid for by the UK public press, who offered so much money to paparazzi. No wonder they behaved and acted so, so recklessly as they chased after Harry and Meghan and Doria. You know? Harry and Meghan have never ever been protected by the palace. Never, never. You know? When Harry and Meghan were at the my family, you know, were the place of by the women, all vision of what was taking place. You know? When Harry and Meghan were there, at the place where by the women or Vision Award event was taking place. The media took photos of them there. And they took as many photos as they wanted of Harry Megan when they were there. You know? Why did they follow Harry Megan and chase after them, my family? You know? They did that because they offered so much money by UK tablets. We tells you, my family, of how tablets choose. When they respect the agreement they have with the royal family and they choose to whom they show respect to. And clearly they decided that for Megan and Harry, to them, 
They are unworthy of any respect. They are unworthy of being treated as human beings. And that's why Daily Mail shows no, shows no respect to Harry and Meghan. That's why they mock Harry and Meghan. My family, time and time again, for simply establishing boundaries in their lives. Harry and Meghan have established boundaries in their lives. And Daily Mail can't stand it, my family. They can't stand it. Meghan has established boundaries in her life. And Daily Mail can't stand it. You know, when Meghan was in the UK, she only wanted a few hours of rest. After she gave birth to Archie, just a few hours of rest. I remember how Carnival of so was demanding, you know what, Megan, come out there and come out and pose for us. And come out and pose for us. We pay you pose. That's the deal, Megan, they said. And they demanded Megan, come out and pose for them. So they can make money off of someone who they bullied throughout high pregnancy. Then, apparently, they had no idea what privacy means. But now, for Kim Milton, they know what privacy means. For Kim Milton, they know what privacy means when it comes to Kim Milton. My family, I find this to be completely offensive. I find what's going on to be completely, my family, offensive to Meghan and Harry. And how they've been dehumanized so much by the UK tabloids, you know? The palace is willing to lie to protect other members of the royal family, but are unwilling to tell the truth to protect Harry and Meghan. My family. And it's it's just wrong. It is my family. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And my family wrong. You know? It is my family wrong. Megan lives in America right now. She earns no taxpayer money. So then why do we see time and time again Megan being hounded by paparazzi? You know? Why do we see the email paying for photographs of Megan in the US? Why? You know, I remember Megan was my family, you know, going to the local farmer's market in Montecito, my family, in Santa Barbara. And Daily Mail bought a puff photo of Meghan Markle at my family, a market, just doing her, my family things, buying flowers and, you know, things that Meghan likes. And they took a photograph of Meghan Markle. Meghan has been seen driving in California. Why? His Daily Mail taking photos of Megan driving in California, it's not doing any public, my family, you know, engagements. You know, she's not doing that, my family. She's not doing that. She's just doing her own things, my family, her own things privately. She's driving, you know, moving around from place to place. She doesn't deserve to be harassed or hounded. Daily Mail. Should not be paying for puff photos of Meghan Markle. If Meghan and Harry go to an to an event, my family, to an event really, like for example, the Muters Games, then you can take as many photos as you want. When Meghan and Harry go to an art show, you can take as many photos as you want when they are there. When they leave, that's it. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. But you can always have never ever respected. Harry and Meghan's right to privacy. They have never, in fact, they've mocked Harry and Meghan for simply establishing boundaries in their lives. You know, they've mocked Harry and Meghan for that. But for Kim Milton, it's like, you know, right now, in respect for Kate's privacy, we are not going to publish photos of Kim Milton, my family, you know, being driven around by her mother, Carol Milton, after she was parked by Bakrid, that clearly they must have called, you know. And also the photo is someone who looks like Kim Milton, you know. We are not even sure if this is Kim Milton. Even the car, even the car that 
Carl Milton was seen driving my family appeared to have five wheels five wheels five wheels so really all this stuff appears to be photoshopped my family appears to be photoshopped and even the hair you know things don't look great things do not look great right now even the photos taken over the pierce mckay Wilton, her eyes appears closed you know what I mean? Is this really even Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? You know, and honestly, members of the squad online are very, very good at doing research. There are things which I can tell and there are things I can't tell, but members of the squad are very good at, you know, my family analyzing a photograph. They are very, very good. They are very, very good, you know? Even some of that, you know, that face of what appears to be Kim Milton appears to be swollen you know and indeed it does indeed it does the face appears to be swollen you know or this picture of what appears to be Kim Milton so my family you know people are asking questions if their whole family thought that somehow you know giving a photograph to a US based publication will end the rumors they are very wrong they are very very wrong very very mistaken and very very wrong my family even Fauzi Christopher the founder of both Sentinel and someone who has been fighting all the hit accounts you know my family you know abusing Megan on social media say this my family about these photos of what appears to be Kim Milton and I quote I'm sorry but what the hell is this was this photo taken with a 50 year old Polaroid camera. There are digital toy cameras that take better photos than this. The grain looks like it was added post. Bowser Christopher also said that most of us have phones that can take better photos in the dark while the subject is moving. He didn't forget that this is 2024. Bowser Christopher, my family. You know, said, and people are saying that does not look like Kay Milton. That does not look like Kay Milton. You know, that does not look like Kay Milton. You know, the face feels swollen, appears swollen. Did she have plastic surgery? What happened? What happened? Because also, we can't even see, you know, the mold that Kay Milton has been putting having on her face. You know, for example, on her right lip, my family, up above her lip. On her right. Kate has, you know, my family, I'm all there. And we can't see it anymore. From the photos posted by TMZ. We can't see it anymore. We can't. We can't. So is this even Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? Is this Kim Milton? People are asking that question. Everyone is asking that, my family. So my family, it, it's a bit worrying, really. What happens to the royal family? You know, it's very worrying. How the women are put through hell in the farm and uh my family despite what Kim Milton did to Megan I would never ever wish you know for her to go through what she's going through right now you know clearly she is suffering clearly she is suffering you know they are saying these photos were taken you know around the time whereby Kim Milton basically where her kids go to school whereby you know her kids are taken to school doing the school run apparently that's what they say they say that Kimilton was doing her school run and, and and it is weird because we have been told in the palace that William is the one who was taking the kids to school while Kate recovers and then now you are hearing Kimilton you know this photograph was taken of basically around the time whereby they are doing the school run taking the kids to school it's all confusing it's all very much confusing and it shows really the palace is manipulating the public and they're lying once again they're lying what they are doing right now is getting international media outlets to keep quiet and not say anything about what's going on with Kim Morton you know they want international media outlets to keep quiet because they know they have control of the UK tabloid media. 
However, they don't have control over international media outlets, what they write, what they talk about. So this stuff is being done to silence international media coverage on Kim Morton. Guess what, William? It won't work. Guess what, William? It will not work. My family, based on my family, you can see really, Megan was never protected. Never, never. And I'm angry because of how Megan was dehumanized by the palace. I'm angry about that, how Megan was dehumanized by the palace and the farm. And I just hope that Megan is able to heal from the pain that has been caused to her by the UK media and the farm. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want my family to hear opinion. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana and Doria Fagland. And all of you members who squad at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever, and may God bless you all, my family. May God bless each and every single one of you. My family, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. Do you think this photo is a photo of Kimoto? I want to hear my family opinion on that. And also, on the lies of the royal family. You know, one time you're hearing, William is the one doing the school runs. Take it, take it to the school. Now it's Kim Moulton. So, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on really, my family? Because initially, UK media was saying that, you know, William will do the school runs. You know, while Kate is recovering. And then, all of a sudden, you're hearing, Kim Moulton is the one doing it. So, so, what is it? Then you hear William is taking care of Kim Walton. And then you're seeing Kate's mother being the one to take care of her daughter. So my family is all confusing. It's all confusing. And William is nowhere to be seen. William is nowhere to be seen. These two, William and Kim Walton, have clearly separated and they're living separate lives. Let them just announce it once and for all. You know? Clearly. Both of them are miserable in their marriage, you know, and my family, I would never ever wish divorce upon anyone, never, never, but clearly, William and Kate are miserable. William appears drunk to events, state events. Kate has been missing for months. Things are not going well for the royal family. Things are going badly, really, for the farm, very badly. And honestly, it's karma for the pain they caused Harry Meghan. It's karma for the pain they caused Harry Meghan, you know? Now, with that and so much more, Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever and may God bless you all my family. And stay tuned to this video. And love you also forever. Let's keep on exposing the hypocrisy. And also the both standards in how Megan was treated. Versus right now how you're seeing K. Moulton being treated with respect. But Megan never shown any respect. Why? Because of a race. Let's expose the racism. And never ever be silent in the face of what the farm, the hell the farm has put through. As well as put Megan and Harry through. And clearly right now also is putting Kate through. My family ought to hear your opinion on that. And may not be formed against Harry, Megan, Archie and also Lady Petana ever prosper. Stay tuned to this video. Love was forever. I hope that Kimoton is able to heal and recover quickly. You know, because she has kids to take care of. And I hope she's well, my family. And if William did something to her, let her speak up and tell the world. Don't keep quiet. Silence only empowers the abuser, Keith Milton. Silence only empowers the abuser. If William did something to you, as I believe he did, in my opinion, allegedly, Keith Milton, speak up. Speak up and talk about it. I mean, your, your face is swollen. Your face is swollen. You don't appear to be looking good. And if William did something, say it, speak up and ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. You know? And then apologize to Harry Megan for the pain you caused them. Say you're sorry, Kim Milton. Say you're sorry. And maybe, just maybe, Harry Megan will forgive you. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. 
Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.